Hello, gamers. I am Spono the Zombie Killer, and I'm here to guide you in obtaining the rare achievements for Plants vs. Zombies, Game of the Year Edition. These achievements, with a success rate of 25% or lower as of the release of this video, are not just rare. They are a true testament to your gaming skills. Let's start with the Morticulturalist achievement, which currently stands at 24.6%. It's a rare feat, but with the right strategies, you can conquer it and feel the rush of accomplishment. This one is straightforward. You must collect all the plants. You achieve most of them by playing adventure mode, but some need to be purchased from the shop for a decent sum of coins. Two of them, the Cobb Cannon and Winter Melon, can only be purchased after the primary mode is beaten. The Beyond the Grave achievement requires you to beat all 20 mini games. To guide you through this, I've created a comprehensive tour video that covers every aspect in detail, providing a thorough understanding of my strategy and approach. It's divided into sections allowing you to focus on the areas you need help with. I'm here to support you every step of the way, ensuring you feel confident in your abilities. Please watch the entire 120 minutes for my watch time. Also, remember to subscribe for more zombie game content. Sunny Days requires 8,000 bits of sun on a single level. I recommend getting the Walnut Repair and Double Sunflower to make this easier. These tools can significantly empower you in your quest. Although this can be done without either, they make the task more manageable. Kill every zombie except one, and spam sunflowers and walnuts until you collect enough sun for the achievement. If you have survival mode unlocked, that's the best type of game to do it in. Speaking of survival mode, the Nobel Peace Prize requires you to beat all mini games, puzzles, and survival levels alongside the adventure. I also have videos covering the puzzles, just like with the mini games, you can watch those for an idea. Survival levels, however, I have never put them on this channel, so I'll give some essential advice. If you beat adventure mode, Survival should be relatively easy. Be wary you're on demanding levels. Don't hold back and use your best plants. After this video drops, I will also record gameplay of both easy and hard survival modes. I can't believe I forgot to do them, but anyway. Crypt Zombologist requires you to find the Yeti Zombie, which is unlocked after you beat the adventure mode the first time. Keep playing the game until you get lucky. There is little else to it. Popcorn Party can quickly be done once you buy the Cobb Cannon after beating the adventure and if you unlock the hard editions of survival. Survival Endless can also be used for achievement, we will discuss that later. It will take time to build up, but it will fly by once you can get it. This is where we start getting to the real deal in achievements. I have a video on Survival Endless, but I recommend you look up the various methods for getting to Wave 20 on Fan Wikis or YouTube since my video did it improperly. The 8, 6, 4, 2 Cobb and Cobb less methods exist. If you want to stretch it out to infinite waves, these tips can take you far beyond the 20th wave, but you only need 20 for the achievement. Ask me about mustache mode is the fastest rare achievement ever. You must type mustache, no matter what spelling you use while playing. This accomplishment is a breath of fresh air, providing a moment of relief from the more challenging tasks. Grounded is easy if you have played through survival enough to unlock the ordinary roof level. Use star fruit, pumpkins, and imitator plants to zoom through the five flags. Alternatively, no fungus among us can be completed quickly by doing five flags in the regular version of survival night. In the early game, utilizing lawnmowers and rakes to build your sun would be best. Towering wisdom is elementary, but it requires a lot of grinding if you start from zero. Each bag of wisdom fertilizer costs 2,500 coins, so you would need 250,000 coins for the achievement. Also, if you don't already have the tree, that's another 10,000. Rather than telling you how to get it, I'll provide you with a link to gold grinding content in the description below. But please do not watch it yet, wait until you fully watch my video. After that, you are now at the Good morning is the easiest of the remaining three, yet it is still difficult for beginning players. But, assuming you have done this video in order, you should have a fundamental clue as to how to do this, because you've completed no fungus among us. However, it would help if you had a semblance of luck, alongside skill and quick thinking to pull this off without intense struggle. Do not use the puff shrooms for offense, for example. Only use them as fodder to build up your sun shrooms and better offensive options. China Shop is challenging because it requires perfect timing and on-the-spot planning. How I did it may only work for some, but I encourage you to check out my three vast breaker videos for a starting point. Rapidly break vases to gather as many materials as possible, it is best to do it from right to left. Try using walnuts and timing to kill multiple zombies with one squash or potato mine, especially when dealing with gargantuars. If that doesn't work, some wikis can provide you with more support than I can. I will link them below for you to read after finishing this video.
Better Off Dead, is the most demanding attainment in the game, so it is also the rarest. iZombie may have been manageable before then because you only have to do one level at a time, and the levels, for the most part, are simple to do. But you have to do 10 in a row, and it is effortless to run out of sun, if the RNG does not line up in your favor. Fun fact, there are achievement runs on speedrun.com for Plants vs. Zombies. If you haven't resorted to using that for guidance instead of everything I listed thus far, it's currently your chance to do so in a pseudo style. I recommend you follow the speed run strategy sparingly, as world record runs are primarily augmented by luck that the average player will only get if they spend countless hours resetting. You will most likely not get this achievement in a 7-minute attempt. So please take it slow and use more conservative methods on top of the other strategies, such as restarting until you get a good round one, careful zombie selection, etc. Like Vastbreaker, I will leave a wiki guide if you need more than my video. That is all I have for you guys today. This was Spono the Zombie Killer, and I urge you to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you made it to the end of the video.